Hi, it's Katrina. From 40 humans buried in pots to a newly uncovered tunnel under Mexico City, here are 10 of the most mysterious archaeological discoveries. Number 10. Buried in Pots On the French island of Corsica, archaeologists have discovered an ancient necropolis with at least 40 strange and mysterious tombs. Many of them were large jars filled with human remains. The cemetery was found on the northern coast of the island, and it dates back to the 3rd and 5th centuries, when the Roman Empire was on the decline. Most of the people here were buried in amphoras, the large ceramic vessels from the ancient world that were used to hold olive oil and wine. The design of these massive jars suggests they came from northern Africa and may have been manufactured in ancient Carthage. What's truly unusual about this discovery is that archaeologists don't know which ancient town or city once stood near the necropolis. It was found at the base of the Immaculate Conception Church, which was constructed back in 1893. This was obviously way after the people were buried. According to researchers, there is no mention of a city in any of the ancient texts, nor is there anything important described in the area. There seems to only be a random necropolis filled with mysterious bodies stuffed into jars, and nobody has any clue why. According to Science Alert, other burials found on the island have been linked to sites of worship, but without any references from ancient texts, it's hard to know what people left their dead behind in jars. Number 9. Medieval Sword Pyramid An amateur treasure hunter in England discovered what the experts are calling a medieval sword pyramid, with the artifact being just as impressive as some other specimens uncovered at the nearby archaeological site of Sutton Hoo, arguably the most famous archaeological site in all of England. Of course, this is not a real pyramid. Instead, it's a tiny accessory that was probably used by either a lord or a king to keep their sword sheathed. No one is exactly sure of their purpose, but they did have something to do with sword scabbards. Found by amateur metal detectorist Jamie Harcourt in Norfolk, the artifact is made of gold and garnet and very similar to the artifacts found at Sutton Hoo. It was basically a clip designed to look like a pyramid and inlaid with very expensive garnets that had probably been imported to England from either Sri Lanka or India. This is proof of the extensive trade network that existed between Europe and Asia so long ago. According to the BBC, the pyramid dates back to around 560 to 630, when the region belonged to the Kingdom of East Anglia. Archaeologists believe whoever owned the relic probably lost it while gallivanting through the countryside, since sword pyramids usually came in pairs. Helen Geiki, with the Portable Antiquities Scheme, compared it to losing one earring in a set saying it probably would have been very annoying to whoever lost it. Number 8. Ancient Cave City In the Crimea region, there is a small medieval town called Eski Kerman. This town is famous for its many caves, hand-carved out of the rock during the 6th century. Over the years, the people here created over 300 caves. The caves offered both shelter from the elements and a cozy home. And over the centuries, these makeshift cave shelters grew into massive dwellings and eventually an entire cave city. Religion was quite important to this society, and so the cave city had temples, churches, frescoes of Christ and Mary, and everything else a medieval society would need. During the 8th century, they were attacked by the Khazars, but the cave city people rebelled and took their home back. The area became an important trade route and thrived for many years more. At least they did, until the arrival of the Mongols in the 13th century. Even though the caves are located high up in the mountainous terrain, the locals still succumb to the onslaught and carnage brought by the Mongol invasion. The residents had no choice but to abandon their caves and flee or die. Many of them perished, and for many years the caves were left empty. People eventually returned to the region and this time built proper houses and today the caves still stand much like they did over a thousand years ago. Number 7. Shipwrecked Gold The search for lost Spanish treasure from an old shipwreck has been going on for years. And now, a treasure hunter searching for the lost ship just found a single gold coin that could make him filthy rich. The ship, called Nuestra Señora de Atocha, or Our Lady of Atocha, is one of the most mysterious wrecked vessels off the coast of Florida. Zach Moore, an engineer for a local salvage company, was diving 30 feet underwater back in July when he noticed something shiny in the murkiness. 
It turned out to be a very rare gold coin worth an estimated $98,000. Amazingly, Zack discovered the coin just days before the 36th anniversary of the shipwreck's original discovery back in 1985, which his father had been a part of. Our Lady of Atocha was labeled the most valuable shipwreck in the world back in 2014 by the Guinness Book of World Records. When it sank in 1622, it was carrying a huge cargo of gold, gems, silver, and other valuable items. In the ship's cargo was a treasure worth about $400 million in today's currency. To give you a rough idea of just how much treasure we're talking about, there were roughly 40 tons of gold and silver and 70 pounds of emeralds. The disaster that sank the ship was probably caused by a hurricane. Only 5 out of 265 crew members survived the accident. Spanish salvage crews tried to find the wreckage to retrieve the treasure. But yet another hurricane blew through and scattered the treasure across the ocean floor. Even today, there are likely hundreds of pounds of jewels literally spread across the coast of Florida. Number 6. Mysterious Stone Monument Rum El Hiri is a mysterious stone monument located in the Middle East that is as old and enigmatic as Stonehenge in England. It's in the region of Golan Heights, with its name translating roughly to Stone of the Wildcat in Arabic. It has five stone circles made of rock and rubble with a giant burial mound in the exact center of the circle. It's at least 5,000 years old and goes by a different name in Hebrew, Gilgal Rephaim, which translates to Wheel of Giants. Some people believe this is because the monument is so big and so impressive that it seems like something only a race of biblical giants could have made. What's really shocking is that Rum El Hiri was only discovered recently in 1967 after the Six-Day War when Israel captured the territory of Golan Heights that had previously belonged to Syria. Because the monument is so low to the ground, less than 8 feet high, nobody really noticed it. While it covers an area of 213,000 square feet, it was too low to the ground. It wasn't found until Israeli archaeologists did an aerial survey of the region. But what was this mysterious structure used for? That is actually still baffling researchers. It was probably constructed by a tribe of nomads around 3500 BC. It may have been used as a kind of calendar to estimate the arrival of the solstices. Some archaeologists even say the rock was here first, and then the large burial mound and tomb in the center wasn't added for another 2,000 years, with a totally different tribe of people hijacking the site and using it for their own means. Number 5. Biblical Earthquakes Archaeologists in Jerusalem claim to have just found evidence of an earthquake that happened in Israel 2,800 years ago. While the discovery of an earthquake happening isn't that shocking, archaeologists say this particular earthquake was the one mentioned in two books of the Bible. This weird discovery happened in the City of David National Park, when researchers found evidence that a destructive event had broken cookware, storage jars, and dishes back in the 8th century BC. They also found proof that the walls of the structure they were investigating had come down as part of that same earthquake. This layer of destruction matches up with an earthquake described in the books of Amos and Zechariah as happening during the reign of Uzziah, the king of Judah. Based on the geological evidence, the dates match up. The earthquake happened between 785 and 735 BC, and there are historical references to the king from the 760s. This looks like one of those cases where stories from the Bible represent actual historical events that occurred. Number 4. Ancient Fruit Archaeologists have just found some very ancient fruit in Egypt. In the sunken city of Tonis Heraklion off the coast of Alexandria, the famous wrecked city that allegedly once held the palace of Cleopatra, archaeologists uncovered wicker baskets filled with fruit 2,400 years old. This ancient city was the biggest port anywhere in the Mediterranean before Alexander the Great founded the city of Alexandria in the year 331 BC. The team of researchers from the European Institute for Underwater Archaeology were led by the French archaeologist Frank Gaudiot, and they have been studying this underwater city for years. In 2021, they continued to make incredible discoveries like these fruit baskets, which they say were left behind in a Greek funerary area probably as offerings to the dead. Gaudio made a statement about their most recent discovery, claiming that the funerary area they found was filled with evidence of burned material. He believes that spectacular ceremonies probably took place here before the city was pulled into the water. 
Besides just extremely old fruit, his team also found imported luxury goods from Greece that had been left behind as funerary offerings. It goes to show how heavily populated the city was by the Greeks, even during the late pharaonic period of Egypt, who built their sanctuaries along the coast. As for the ancient fruit, it was mainly grapeseed and dome fruit from the African palm tree. Number 3. Ancient Dagger In the Indian state of Tamil Nadu, researchers have found an ancient dagger that had belonged to someone from a mysterious civilization that thrived about 2,500 years ago. The archaeologists were working in the village of Konthagai and found the rusted iron dagger almost perfectly preserved inside of a burial urn alongside a skeleton. The discovery was made as part of a major excavation project to discover more information about the mostly forgotten Kiladi civilization that once lived here. The dagger boasts a steel blade of 16 inches and was found with parts of its wooden handle still intact. It was a weapon used by warriors from between the 3rd century BC to the 3rd century AD. The urn it was found in was one of 25 that have been discovered since excavations began. Some of these urns are filled with bones, some are filled with weapons, and others are filled with maybe less interesting artifacts. Archaeologists have also found proof of agricultural activity by these mysterious people, along with primitive houses made of mud and brick. Even though historians don't exactly know what the Kiladi civilization was all about, where they came from, or even where they went, the discovery of board games suggests they weren't only brave warriors, but also a fun-loving people. Number 2. Aztec Tunnel Archaeologists in Mexico recently found an amazing discovery and then were forced to cover it up. The discovery was a simple tunnel built hundreds of years ago in the city of Tenochtitlan, once the capital of the Aztec Empire. It was an impressive city with waterways, dikes, dams, and flood control systems. The newly discovered tunnel was part of the waterworks, used to prevent flooding during torrential rains. When the Spanish showed up, they did all they could to completely destroy and erase all trace of the Aztec city's brilliance. This did not work out in favor of Spain, as early Mexico City was often destroyed by floods, and in the early 1600s, they were forced to copy the Aztecs and make their own flood control systems. This tunnel, found by archaeologists with the National Institute of Anthropology and History, was part of the Albarradón de Ecatepec, put together by thousands of indigenous workers. It may have been built by the Spanish, but the material used to build it was much older. Archaeologists found many pre-Hispanic glyphs carved into the tunnel's entrance, including things like raindrops, birds of prey, and Aztec war shields. But here's the problem. The archaeologists don't have enough money to properly construct an exhibit and preserve this amazing piece of history, so they have no choice but to bury the tunnel once again so that while they're gone, it doesn't get damaged or vandalized. They say it will probably be rediscovered in another few hundred years. Number 1. New Pompeii Discovery A geologist has made a new breakthrough in the ruined city of Pompeii. As most of us already know, Pompeii was destroyed when Mount Vesuvius erupted and coated the city in volcanic ash, preserving it for roughly 2,000 years. Molten rock was literally shot into the sky to fall back on the poor citizens of Pompeii. But new information suggests that the eruption of Mount Vesuvius did not happen in a single instance. This is shocking because until now, researchers have assumed that the eruption happened immediately, leaving the inhabitants no chance of escape. Dougal Jerram recently told Smithsonian that the eruption actually happened over a period of at least 24 hours. There is new evidence that suggests some people desperately tried to flee the city with their belongings as the volcano slowly erupted, while others actually chose to stay. Dougal figured this out by examining the stone layers and the sediment from Pompeii. He realized that the volcano boiled over within about seven hours, and there were probably multiple eruptions over the whole day. The issue was that people in Pompeii thought the volcano was done each time one eruption finished. A lot of people stayed behind, not realizing just how devastating the 24 hours of non-stop volcanic activity would be. Thanks for watching! Which of these mysterious discoveries surprised you the most? Let me know in the comments below, and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. See you in the next video. Bye!